baby's here, baby's good, mom's here, and mom is good. So that's, that's good. That's. It's currently three in the morning right now. We're at the hospital and they're trying to figure out what's going on with Ashley since she's bleeding, but her water hasn't broke. A couple hours later, we finally have a delivery room and we're just waiting for Ashley to be fully dilated. This is our room for tonight and hopefully only for tonight because we plan on leaving. We plan on leaving tomorrow. So Ashley has her own bed. I have my own bed and this is how I have my own TV. No, but actually they they used to have it like this just because when it gets really busy, they put other they put two two patients into one room. But I mean, it's not busy busy right now so they're not gonna put nobody so they're like just go ahead and sit down in that one and then uh, we'll let you know if if it gets busy so I can move how do you want how do you want how does the delivery go quicker than the other kids because of what we came here at around one and the other kids last more than 10 hours yeah he was less than 10 uh, close Close. Yeah, it was. It was. It, this one was actually pretty crazy because I went to work, right? And then I came back. We went to Ashley's parents' house, and then from there we went bowling. And then Ashley was like, "Hey, I don't, I don't feel too good." And then that's when she was yeah. just. She went to the restroom, and then that's when we just she saw she had blood, and then we just that's when we're like, "Yeah, let's just head this way." I ain't gonna lie, the first night with a newborn baby or even at the hospital, it's probably one of the roughest nights you have. You know, you have staff coming in and out constantly while you're just trying to be with your baby and get some rest. So you can easily just become overwhelmed, you know, so it's always amazing to have a support partner 